What's up, Fondy? My name's Sully. And my name's Andrew. And today, we're going to be talking about sports and a library announcement. Let's go! What's up, Fondy? I got Chandler to help me out today. We have tons of sports to talk about, so we're starting off with a congratulations to Riley Colette on being nominated for Female Cross Country Athlete of the Year. Also, congrats to Kelly Hurl on being nominated for Female Tennis Athlete of the Year, and congrats to Drew Gianovich on being nominated for Girls Hockey Player of the Year. With an additional congratulations to, of course, Andrew Stone on being named for Male Track and Field Athlete of the Year. He was also nominated for Football Player of the Year and for Male Athlete of the Year. Congratulations to all of those great athletes. Now to girls soccer as Fondy beat Nina 4-1 but took a tough loss to Kimberly 5-1. To, to golf now, a boys golf team won over Hortonville in a close 159-161 to against Nina. Boys golf lost to a nail biter of 165-166. to Now to softball, Fondy lost in extra innings to Kakana 6-5 in Sheboygan North Tourney. Girls softball took second, beating Manitowoc Lincoln 11-0 and beating Waukesha North 10-0. But in the championship game, Fondy fell to Appleton West 6-3. But the girls came back to beat Appleton West on Monday with the score to be 3-1. Way to go without the redemption. Our baseball team took a close loss to Oshkosh North 2-1. Now to track. They had a conference this past week. And the girls 800-meter run, taking first, Allie Schmitz. For the boys' 400-meter relay, taking first was Fond du Lac, consisting of Evan Sauer, Dylan Seeloff, Tyler Colleen, Adam Hopper. In 100-meter hurdles, Adam Hopper took second. For the girls' 300 hurdles, Brooke Mattel took the win there. In girls' 100-meter hurdles, Sydney Arndt finished second. To the girls' 3,200-meter relay, the girls finished third. Great showing, Fondy. Also, congrats to who else? Andrew Stone, I'm being the champion in the shot put with a throw of 65 feet, 8 inches, and then the discus with a throw of 189 feet, 9 inches. Congratulations to Dylan Seeloff on winning the pole vault with a vault of 15 feet, a new school record. Congratulations to the boys and girls track teams for both taking 5th place at the conference meet. Nice job, Fondy. And finally, any girls interested in playing girls tennis, during Cardinal time today, there will be a meeting with Coach Sagan. Check it out. We love sports. Have a good rest of your week, Fondy. Dude, prom was so much fun. It was so much fun. I had such a good time. Honestly, post prom was my favorite though because I won a moped and I win. Hey. hey! I heard you guys were talking about prom. Did you hear about the senior celebration? Yeah. Yeah, that's next week Wednesday, May twenty yeah. second. Oh, yeah. That is, oh yeah. yeah. Tickets yeah. are five dollars, and you can get them in Miss Ewart's room, room twelve forty. But they're only being sold until Friday, so make sure you get your tickets. You have two, two days. days. Yeah. So what's gonna be there? Okay, so comedy sports. You guys know what that is? No. no. What? Okay, so here's what comedy sports is. So these are awesome people from Milwaukee, right? And you come into our PAC, and they're already set up, right? And you're gonna have the names of the people that it's already gonna be working with. So you're gonna be in two separate teams, and they're gonna pull you up on stage and do all these funny things with you, and it's all in good fun. I'm really? so here that it's. Being catered. Oh, oh yes. yes. Food. food. And it's only for the seniors, so no parents. No yeah. parents. No pa and it's going to be around 6 to 10, too. Oh. Yeah. I got to get my ticket. If you finished a book that you checked out, make sure you return it to the library by May 24th. Attention seniors, your Fondy student's account will be deleted at the end of June. If you would like all your Fondy data to go to your personal account, there is a link with instructions on how to do so. Seniors who will no longer need their Chromebook, please turn them in during the day or after school at the Chromebook help desk June 3rd, 4th, 5th, and 6th. You must turn them in and pay any outstanding fees prior to or you will not be able to participate in the graduation ceremony. That's all for today, Fondy. But before we go... For anyone interested, tryouts for Color Guard are every Tuesday from 6.30 to 8.30 at Rosano. Anyone can try out. Email Mr. Barnes with any other questions. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you.